The country today woke up to the shocking news of the death of Rebecca Cheptegei, an athlete who has represented the country at various global competitions, including this year's Olympics Games that took place between July and August in the French capital Paris. At the Olympics, Cheptegei participated in the women's marathon where she finished in the 48th position. Little did she know that that was her last race. The Olympian met her death after her former boyfriend on Sunday reportedly poured petrol on her body before setting her on fire. The incident happened at her home in Transoya County in western Kenya. She was hospitalized at Moy Teaching and Referral Hospital in Eldoret City since then until today morning when she was pronounced dead. Doctors who treated her said she sustained 80% burns and suffered full organ failure in the intensive care unit. The damage had already occurred by the time she was coming in. So we supported the organs as best as we could, but uh, unfortunately it was beyond what we could do. Cheptage's family members describe her as a loving and development-minded person. <laughs> I am sad because the Kenyan government is silent on bringing my daughter's killer to justice. He may disappear. I am sad. I have lost a daughter I was relying on. She was born right here where I am sitting. I first learned about her death on radio. I am very sad. I have lost my niece. Prior to her death, she was the national record holder for the women's marathon after running for 2 hours, 22 minutes and 46 seconds in a marathon in Abu Dhabi in 2022 where she finished in the fourth position. The sports fraternity, including Cheptegei's running mates, are devastated. I send my condolences to the family and for other details, I'm in touch with the government of Kenya. I think those are not for for television or for the press now, we allow the investigation to take its course as we're also handling other detailed activities. We will be able to come out formally once that is out to give a formal program. So it's one of the finest of, of the marathon ladies that we are trying to look into that one day uh, she will bring us home a medal. And the honor she has brought to Uganda in various categories, in the, uh, in the races, in the World Mountains, uh, in the half marathons, in the marathons, is really incredible. So as Uganda, we have lost one of the biggest talents ever. The group of chapter gay, Rebecca, would still do us some more. It's unfortunate that we've lost her, and the, the manner in which she died uh, really pains us. I represented Uganda in 2024 Paris Olympics. I was, I was running marathon with my late friend Cheptekei Rebecca. Cheptekei Rebecca was a hardworking woman. My heart is in eternal peace. Her death has been condemned by various people who called to an end to domestic violence. The Minister of Education and Sports, who is also the First Lady of Uganda, Janet Museveni, in a statement said, and I quote, the news of our daughter Rebecca Cheptegei's tragic death due to domestic violence is deeply disturbing. My heartfelt condolences go out to the athletics community, her family, friends and the entire nation on the loss of our Olympian. End of quote. The Speaker of Parliament Anita Among said, My heartfelt condolences to Rebecca's family, friends and the entire athletics community. Such barbaric acts of gender-based violence have no place in our society. It is important that the circumstances are properly investigated and the culprit brought to justice. On his part, the president of the National Unity Platform Party, Robert Chagulanyi, said, and I quote, very saddened by the untimely passing of this young, talented Ugandan athlete, Rebecca Cheptegei. The circumstances of her death are even more depressing. We hope there can be quick, efficient investigations of the incident and the perpetrator or perpetrators brought to book. May our family and loved ones find comfort in this very difficult time. End of quote. The burial program for the late Rebecca Cheptegei is yet to be released. Daniel Kibet, NTV. Mama,